Total access. Let's get it. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Don Marino, baby. You know he's looking at Don Marino out there. The lefty himself. To, uh, let's oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think I meant? Uh, I thought you were talking about the NFL player. Could be DeMario. But Tua doesn't know how to dip like DeMario, so. Yeah. No, like. I think if Tua dipped like DeMario, he's going to have more gang signs. <laughs> Remember when Tua got hit? Yeah, I'm surprised he's, he's like. Still alive? Yeah. Hey, we might see it in live. Oh, we'll get into that a little later on. Good call. So, um, what week is it now? Name my fell. I don't know Hall of Famer Terry Bible. This thing is week three. <laughs> I think it's week three. Is week? Uh, no, we're not week three. No, no. We're, no, it's we're, an NFL week three. We're like week six. Week five. Week five, that's what I meant. Week we're five. Week four and week five. Week four just finished. We're going into week five. Yeah. A lot of, like, especially in the lower divisions, a lot of stuff I want to get into. Do you know what our bold predictions were? Mine, yours was that Centurions were going to beat Iron Wolves. Okay, so I got that one wrong. Got that one wrong. And mine was something about 12 total picks in a game when there was like two. A D5 game, right? Yeah, I Probably. think so. I think so. You said picks or touchdowns? It's... Oh, no, that's not true. I said late last calls. Yes. Good memory. Thank you. I said late last calls. Free agents? Free agents? They're playing with the free agents. I said two guys were going to combine for six, seven touchdowns each. Yeah, if you got all their picks and touchdowns, it doesn't get to that many. So you call them more predictions. Uh, anything you want to talk about before we start? Mm, I think that um, the lower divisions are looking good. And yes. what I mean by that is like they're slowly starting to take up who's favorites, who's not. But then week in, week out, I think like, we can't figure out who's favorite and who's not. I think it's a tough division to predict. Division 4 and Division 5. You yeah. think you know, but you actually don't. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing I want to say, I think it was pretty well received in the chat. We gotta, we gotta clean up after ourselves. Uh, Definitely. surprised that post got more likes than any of our videos. Yeah, really. I don't know if I should be happy about that or not. I mean, it's a good thing. It means a lot of people saw it, and true. I guess they agreed. True, true. Uh, it's sad that it only takes like a, a minority of people to create a situation that like the majority get shot. Crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Past tense of shit is shot. Not shit today. No, no, not <laughs> shit. Yeah. I feel like people say shit though. Yeah. It's cooler to say. But yeah, come on, boys. Clean up after your boys and girls. Clean up after yourselves. It's common sense. Boys, girls, and whatever they want to be. That is true. Yep. So what division you want to start with? Let's go D4. D4. Okay. I'll let you do your thing again, but next week we go in order. What? Okay. I actually forgot. Uh, so when we go in order, I have my okay, template. What are you on about now, uh, Listen, listen. When we go in order, I actually have my template. Like one, two, three, four, five. And I just change the timestamp. When we go like up, down, left, right, and all that, yeah, I gotta erase each one and write the division each time. And last week I wrote division. I think I wrote division three twice, and then I wrote division two. You damn it! And the Vic, shout out to the Vic. He caught on right away. And, like I think he watched the video as soon as we posted it. Yeah. And like he asked me like an hour before when's the video gonna come on. I'm like six p.m. <laughs> like every other week. And I think like at six he watched it. Yeah. So, like at six oh five he's like, "Yo, you wrote division two or three twice." I'm, like respect, respect. Jinx. <laughs> Now you so, owe me uh, cream soda. So division four? Div four. Why cream soda? I don't like, uh, I mean, Pepsi. Yeah, cream soda's better than Pepsi. Okay, Terry. So when we made our picks this week, yes, I got a, I post it as I usually do every week. And I got a message on the difference with Blitzky, okay? Yeah. I got a text from him. And he said, wow, Willie's picking the Cyclones. And I was, I <laughs> swear to you, it was the game I debated the most. And I said, you know what? Let me jump on the Cyclones bandwagon just for one week. Yeah, I'm first alive because that bandwagon must have crashed the shit out of itself. Bro, I got a broken leg, <laughs> broken two legs here. I I was on it for a week, and that's it. I'm done. They're I'm missing Lazar, I'm, I'm tired of this team. Huh? They're, they're missing Lazar. They could be missing. No, no, but I think they're Terrell Owens. I think, and they still find a way to lose in no, games no. they should win. If Terrell Owens shows up on a D4 MFL team, they're winning the game. If he's on Cyclones, I beg to differ. I freaking beg to differ. Uh, I think they're undefeated with Lazar, and they're winless without him. Okay, that's you know he's best player on the team, but he's there's still other pieces on this team for them to be better. What so did they say uh, the best? 
The best the, attribute is your availability. The best ability is availability. Yes, that is, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you. But uh, I spoke to um, Barbara and you on uh, Sunday Brossard, and she just said that the game got out of hand quickly. Three weeks in a row that you want a Sunday Brossard? Yeah. I'm waking up early. Oh. Ryan, I'm literally, it's like, I literally don't sleep in. I know. I, I, I don't well, do. Well, that's why you're like at four o'clock uh, on Monday. It was actually three, but I'm done with this nine to five, nine to five, working 40 hours a week stuff. I don't know how people do full time. Anyway, talk Those about that. I don't after. know. Yeah, I know. Who's a grown man now? Well, yeah, I'm done with that. Uh, so Plinsky threw four picks and it was surprising, you know, because he, I he know he's at least a, a, a couple of games. Yeah, but the thing is that he, he runs a lot, so it avoids picks and I, I feel his decision making is, is pretty good. And I'm not sure if it's tip balls or what it is, but I, I actually feel like the more he plays, the more his, like, high his IQ has been getting. Like, I, I really think he's developed flight football at the well, quarterback he's a position. Flight football well, we know that, we know yeah. that, but I'm saying as a quarterback for him. Because it's difficult. Look, this Mustard Cubs team is not a team, you know, that's, uh, it's going to be easy to play against in a fairly good defense, but... This is an opportunity Cyclones had. Do you think had. if they brought Ketchup, they'd have a better chance of winning the game? I think if or they brought... Relish. <laughs> they watched Spicy Mayo, that'd be the best chance because Spicy Mayo is the best condiment. Um, I condiment, I said. Condiment. <laughs> you said uh, first? Condiment is what I said. But Mustard Tigers pull up the 31-6 victory. Cyclones. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah. I, I will... I. I'm making a promise now that I will not pick them for the rest of the season. They're playing Drama Club next week. In a very winnable game. <laughs> Real? Where'd that promise go? I don't know. The promise I meant to be broken. That's what my mom always told me. What if it's a promise with Jesus? Oh, bro, that's different. Come on, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this is going to be a good show. <laughs> uh, did you ref any of that game? God, if you could call it a game. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did I ref any before games? Nope. Uh, our boys weren't there this week. Uh, DeFour didn't quarterback for uh, Jaggies and Chill. No, it was eh? actually Hawaii. Really? But see, you know why I did that in the beginning of the show? That's no, it's yeah, completely yeah. random. But uh, and Mustard Tiger... Del- and Delos? Yeah, well, depends how you say it. But <laughs> Mustard Cubs... But his brother was quarterbacking. And he's not as good, eh? Pierre-Olivier Delos. Is he as good as... I don't know, you tell me. You, you assumed he wasn't as good? For yeah, it's because they lost. <laughs> um, but Mustard Tigers go 2-0 and on the day. That's, that's big news. Mustard yes, Cubs, sorry, Mustard yes. Cubs. Mustard Cubs go two and zero. You know his brother actually played semi pro in Europe. What? As a offensive lineman, I believe. Really? Yes. He's a big boy. Yeah. That's crazy. I think he also Holy played cow. McGill. Pretty sure he played at McGill, and then he went to play, uh, I think, a season or two in France. Really? Yeah. My respect. Damn, uh, MFL's. I might be making well. this up, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we Jeff add, and we, I talk a lot. And yes. I, I have a bad memory, but <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, we like adding a little something, something to the story. Yeah. Anyways, good stuff. That was good because mustard mustard cubs were sitting at one and two, two big wins. They improved to three and two. Good stuff. And they beat. I'm not gonna say two great teams because Cyclones always disappoint. But Jaggies and Chill them like they still have a fairly good defense. And mustard cubs started zero and two and won three straight games now. There you go. Team on the rise. Power rankings. We can start doing mini power rankings here. Um, anything else catch your attention? Uh, Sarah people struggling. Talking to you about Kevin's power rankings at times. Uh, how they don't make sense. Yeah. I think, I think the, the person that criticizes them the most is you. I haven't spoken to you. About no, no, but like somebody's in our chat, you're right. But everything you say is, is key. Like he'll pick someone to win and then have them last in the power rankings. Most of the time, what I say in the chat is because people. Oh, I've said it. Yeah, cause, got you. Yeah, because uh, I get a lot of complaints on Kevin's article, and my answer <laughs> to them is like, "Why do you keep reading them?" Wait, complaints <laughs> about the spelling or about? Oh no, the spelling people give up. Okay, on. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. No. At least no complaints about like how does it make sense? Like yeah, um, this team is winning because athlete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best is like prediction okay so he's, I'm gonna go for example Sarah Peeps over Ben better team <laughs> <laughs> like better team period yeah uh, and then I'm like but what, what are you expecting it's, it's, it's a comedy act it's not a yeah yeah, yeah. but like it, uh, look in, uh, it's not it's not it, doesn't, it takes time to write those articles oh yeah, yeah you know what I mean like it actually does yeah and I'm sure it takes less time considering he doesn't verify like how he spells but it takes time yeah. But yeah, I'm a little bit surprised with uh, Sour Peeps, Terry. Uh, losing yeah. this uh, this game and losing last week. The thing is, it was two games that were not close. Two games, they only put up six points. Um, and look, D4 is obviously different than D5. You saw the only win was against Cyclones. Yes, okay, so, okay. so they're actually winless. <laughs> so they're 0-2 because their first game they didn't play. It was against Cyclones, so it doesn't count. So they're sitting at 0-2 right now. and um, 12 points in the last two games. But points on the season is not going to cut it. 
I think it's a little bit like the, the, the game's a little bit quicker in D4. Oh, I mean, definitely, well, right? Ben is well, I think the biggest difference in D4 and D5 is not the game's quicker. It's just that, like, uh, D4 is like a representation of, like, the top teams of D5. There's no weak team. Like, D5, mm -hmm. this season and last season was pretty big. Yeah. And the parity was, like, not the best. I think it's, it's getting better, and we're trying to... What the heck are you doing? Wait, sorry, sorry, just... Yeah, you're right. You know, we're live the, on air. The, the parity's different, you're right. <laughs> you want to get some... Uh, I'm not perfectly okay, thank get you. Get some Dental no, I didn't think you were going to... Tell everybody Wait, like, mm, you're making sounds like all slides going flying out of your teeth and stuff. You think they can't hear you? This mic's the freaking good mic we got here. It's not like my, your dad when I was eating the ice cream that one time. No, no. You don't want to hear Willie the ice cream. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the power is different, right? Uh, yes. And there's no like weak teams that you beat up on. Yeah. Like, if you're a new team coming up to D4 from D5, you know, D5, like if you're a top D5 team, you'll get like a freebie here and there. Yeah, yeah. There's none of that in D4. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. So what do you want to go to next? Um, or do you want to keep talking about the four teams that suck? Well, we got, we, well, secure chiefs gave us heck right for not talking about them uh, the previous week. And you said you don't want to talk about them, so I was trying to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big win, twenty six to six. Um, There's a count against Airborne. That's true. Leo learning the quarterback position. I'm sure it get better. Over under wins for Airborne half a game. Can I look at the schedule? Or I have to answer. No, yeah, that's not. I'm going under. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over. They got one. They'll get one. So, six. So like I'm being a little bit harsh there. Like someone's gonna screw up a roster regulation and get a forfeit win. Uh, shoot, that's <laughs> true, eh? Gosh darn it. Okay, let's go to Div Two. Div Two? Yeah. My a lot of. Okay, I, I want to give a quick shout out to um, Average Joe's here. Thirty-eight to twenty-six victory over Pocket Rockets. Um, How did they need that win, eh? They, did they did they ever need that win? And look, they would have been 0-5. They would have been 0-5. We talked about is, is their season over last week on the show, um, and I said no. And I think that this win kind of proves that. But with them, it's look, <laughs> you look at this game. Iggy threw five picks, <laughs> but he threw six touchdowns. He threw six touchdowns. Pio threw five picks, but he threw only three three touchdowns. touchdowns. That ended up ultimately being the difference. But I wonder if you're talking about D two. If it's ever happened where a quarterback's thrown five or more picks and won the game. Did I, I can't D1? Bro, are you good? <laughs> I said D2. I said D2. I know, was, but... It's a very good call. You said D2 because... Yeah, I'm in D2 or D1. Yeah, you're right. You no, because there. like... Yeah, but who did it in D1? Didn't like Dave... Just, Dave, yeah, yeah, yeah. like literally last yeah, week. Yeah, literally last week. Well, I said D2. So I'm in D2. I'm but, sure it's happened. Yeah, no, it probably has. Um... But yeah, like Phil had talked about me not being but, a big Pockets Rockets fan, and I picked against them all three games and ended up being right. What you guys say, Phil? You want him to pick the teams that lose? Uh, Those are your guys, like Phil. Well, one way to win the game, like when you throw five picks, is that the other quarterback also throws five picks. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, did you ref this game? <laughs> oh, but I heard the refs got some heat. <laughs> really? Who refed? Uh, I don't need to say that live on air. Oh, yeah. Good call. You're, that was silly of me. Good call. Whisper in my ear. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay okay um yeah but I, I i not to say that i think they the i don't think it was deserved the heat that they right got. right yeah, yeah. and it was like on a play late in the game when it was already a two-score game okay um yeah i i, I didn't catch much of this well game. at the end of the day it's a, it's, it's a win that saves average joe's season Iggy's currently one and one on average joe's right pretty average one and one yeah. hey i was thinking with, uh, about this with iggy uh this weekend He's an OG average Joe from like FPF. Like his first, almost, I don't know oh if it was his first ever team. My he goodness, had any money. I remember. He's like, yeah, I even got my red average Wait, Joe shirt. What did you just say? He's like, I even got my red average Joe shirt. But the team wanted him to wear the yellow jersey. Really? Yeah. I remember I threw a game against them and we I had a tough game and we lost. With uh, what team? Uh, not one speed, the uh, dum dums. It was. Um, <laughs> Yeah, what's we dum dums? Really? Yeah, I remember we we played against them with um, like OG Panthers, but yeah. it wasn't OG Panthers. It was seventh rounders or something, and we beat them. Really? Yeah. Not Space Apes. It was Space Apes, one of those teams. Yeah, yeah, one of the cool ones. Nice. But Iggy wasn't throwing; it was um, his other boy. But he was on the team. Oh, but on the only. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> um. Uh, Has Vinny Galano already won QB of the Year? Let's look at the season stats. 
He played amazing. I think I did. He threw seven touchdowns, yeah, no reps, interceptions. Game. Really? Can you yeah. tell me about it? Because well, I want to give a, a quick shout out first of all for Simon Blay, who's he hasn't really played with these guys, right? Like he's used to throwing with the guys from lockdown, so, obviously, and he played the part. I heard like Vinny say like this team's not weaker with Simon in the in right, the right, that, right. Like, Simon's a really good quarterback. Yeah, yeah. And like, uh, Saturday feels like so long ago. I know it does. What did I do say? Like, watch the Cowboys destroy the Jets. <laughs> yeah, got Boston on by Mag. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, Andrew Namaro combined for 22 catches in this game. That's ins- five touchdowns. It's like, you felt that nice these were leading the game the whole time. Yeah. But that idol was never far away. Mm. Like, they were close and they could make it a game at any point in time and I think yeah so they but every time they scored uh, Vinny would also score uh, but it was a great back and forth game but yeah nice these are like a powerhouse yeah like they're, they're strong strong they are uh, Vinny won't be there this upcoming weekend and they okay. have a double header oh wow and take a guess who's gonna fill in for them a quarterback the Mario no <laughs> Is right. there this weekend mm, we have a bye with Iron Wolf so maybe not so probably not because he probably took that back because he's not there but maybe we, we... Good call. I think so. Good call. Wait, nice season. Is it someone on the roster? No. How many bye weeks did Josh throw with Iron Wolves? Two. I think. Like you wrote... No, no. Well, one, it was random this one upcoming. This oh, one okay, okay. was random. It was just last week when uh, okay, boys okay. Uh, you know, were having a good time. Um, last week when the boys having a good time? Yeah, they're married. Yeah, they're going to be there too. Yeah, yeah just was about um, Okay, nice CDs. He's, he's not on the roster? No. He's in the NFL though. Oh gosh, uh, John. <laughs> no, okay, but is there, is there any of the hints of that? Like, is, has he played the season? No, he's never played in the NFL. Okay, so he's, he's in the NFL, but he's never played in the NFL, yeah. is what you're saying? Yeah. He's in you the you NFL. love these games. And that's very, that's true. He's in the NFL, but he's never played the NFL. Correct. So he's only watched the NFL. Or officiated in the NFL. Oh, look. Yes. No way. Yes. Damn, that's crazy. That's, isn't that cool? Wow, that actually is cool. Oh, I guess Vinny got him. Oh, I don't know, maybe Because Vinny and Hall played on the scene. Yeah, that's true, it's true. Wow. That's good stuff. Anyway, to recap the week that was. Yeah. Uh, that's it for the nice season. I, uh, I don't game. <laughs> uh, did you see Thunder Buddies at KOLB? No, but I saw that. I thought Thunder Buddies were shorthanded in this game because we were missing yourself, Dylan, and our boy Max. Yeah. Uh, and then our boy Jaff bailed like a, an hour before the game. And we already had yeah. a sub. And I need to find another sub. Thank you to Nicola Cloutier who uh, helped out. Literally like... The nicest guy in the MFL. Is he nicest? Yeah. I feel said about a lot of guys. I, I'm not disagreeing. He's, he's a super nice guy, but... No, I no, no. I think, like uh, every, every time I see him, he's the guy that helped me with the bags. I remember I double duty one game and he was like feeding the bags in my my mouth. <laughs> like I was like... Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> It's late, folks. That's it's gonna, late. That's gonna be a pretty good timestamp. Let me just stick to. It. But uh, yeah, no, Nick Lucci, a good guy. How are you doing the feeding the bags in your mouth? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're hungry, eh? Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> like, bro, we're doing it as you promised. Um, I didn't promise that. You promised we'd stop and eat. I said it might stop for you. Don't, don't say, <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, uh, so yeah, I saw we were severely shorthanded, and I had refed KLB the the week before, and like they were like literally on fire, scoring like 45 bombs at will to uh, Alex Gonzalez, I think. Uh, yeah, and. Um, the roster that uh, Thunder Buddies had, like, it, it was an impressive win that they pulled off, right? I think game ball goes to Rosenfeld. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Max, 11 catches, 95 yards, two touchdowns, one one point conference. catches? Yeah. But Even, he's snapping? No, Rob was snapping. Yes. Wow. Even Remy balled out, 7 for 76, three touchdowns. Wow. Uh, our boy Chen filling, uh, filling in with a touchdown himself, five catches, 51 yards. Is he mom? Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't know you subbed. I, I feel and like on I, defense, uh, Mac got a pick, too. The only pick of the game. I feel like I haven't played on, on Thunder Buddies in like and a you're month. you're not playing this upcoming weekend either, eh? Why is that? No, be Miami. 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 <laughs> oh, good talk about it. I'm talking about after. Good stuff. D2, we done? <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Let's just... Uh, so last week I asked you our average Joe's in trouble. Yeah. This week I'm going to ask you our pocket rock is in trouble. <sighs> I think so. I think because they have a tough two games coming up. They're only... Yeah. They have Thunder Buddies at 12.30, and they're going to have KLB. What well, if they beat KLB? KLB are going to make the playoffs. I'm sure about that. I'm sure KLB, okay, well, KLB look, are going to find a way to the playoffs. Let's go this way. KLB, I know this week. Yeah. Who, who do you got? Is Brady back? 
Regardless, let's just say like uh, more like. I say Idaho. Okay, slight edge Idaho. Let's just say Idaho wins that game. Yeah. KOB are one and three. Yeah. Pocket Rockets are zero oh and three. Mm-hmm. Pocket Rockets play KOB. They win that game. They're both one and three. Pocket Rockets have a tiebreaker. Got you. And then, but then they'd have to. Okay, and then let's say they lost the Thunder Buddies. They only be half a game out. Yes. Okay. I just think KOB are too good not to find a way into the playoffs. I, I think I think Pocket Rockets are in trouble. I mean, like, look, Terry, you look at. The, the good thing is that they're able to put up points, right? And the good thing is, is like, you look at like, the, like Phil Chauvantier, six touchdowns in three games. Oh yeah, I forgot to shut him out. He had like four catches and uh, three touchdowns for 70 yards. Yeah, an, an, abs- an absolute baller on, on both sides of the football yeah. field. So like you look, okay, they, they, they lost their first game in overtime, which was a tight one. Then they lose again to, to Average Joes and then they lost to Idaho. And like, they're still putting up points. You put up 32 points, 26 points, 28 points. Yeah, you got to put at least 30 in Division two. So, right, is it the defense or is the fact that they're turning the ball over too much so the defense is on the field too much? I, like I think that. it's the Jones. Yeah, the Jones, too. And the, the Jones the aren't day. helping, right? That's true. It's I, a lot of tape to watch. Like, Imagine having yeah. a full tape yeah. to watch. Like, I would not, love that. You're though. not focusing on the next game. Like you're still watching all that tape. Like it's way too much. And then okay, I know Leo got to bring the drone back down, change the battery. True. That's so true. he's not focused on actually playing the game. But imagine it's. I say ditch the drones this week in your double header, and you go two and zero. Really? Yeah. Okay, like... Ditch the drones. Wait, they're playing two games, right? Yeah. KOB and yeah, ditch the drones this upcoming weekend, and you will go win your both games. But imagine how cool that Wednesday, that Wednesday night sesh is when everybody curls up together and uh, has popcorn and watches the drone. I mean, Jazz's place, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but like, think about it. Like, Leo's running a, his heart out, and he's like, "Oh shit, I, I gotta go off next play. The, the, the drone's battery's gonna die. Okay, we can't miss a play, right? Oh, it dies. Yeah, because he has like he was telling me like, he has to change the battery like every like half an hour almost. Oh no no no! You gotta get one of those. Yeah, uh, vague, vague, eh? Yeah, blee, 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 blee. you gotta get one of those uh, powerless ones. Yeah. It's power, pus, pus, that's powered by the <laughs> soil. <laughs> Are you good? Good. What's next? Uh, let's go D2. No, let's go D3 because we were just doing D2. You want to do, you want to do D2 again? No, no, I'm good with D2. Pretty good. Uh, D3. Villains have a doubleheader. Red Cats have a doubleheader. And Phoenix does not have a doubleheader. So what do you want to start with? Let's go with the first game, Red Cats uh, Villains. So rematch of uh, week one. Yes. Uh, it was a much more low scoring affair than it was in week one. The score yeah. was seven to nothing until the last play of the game, fourth down. Avery bombs it to Sydney uh, Taylor Jordan for the the touchdown. Uh, taking a thirteen nothing lead going into half. The last play of the half. Sorry, last play of the half. I said game. Yeah, last play of the half. That, that's why you're there sometimes. Come on now. Um, I was in. It was a tip ball or no? Like it was. He caught it on the sideline, and I think like literally two yards before the end zone. Really? And there was just space, and he and just sneaked in. You didn't knock it down. I was on the bench, yeah. It, yeah, I mean, if I was rushing, it probably would have been a sack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no chance I would have knocked it down. That's not. <laughs> uh, I want to show up Ben Denis in this game. Oh my God, did he have himself a game? I think he had himself a weekend because he went three and zero. He won both his games. I saw some pictures from against the Pocket Rocket game. We'll talk about that one later. But mm-hmm. in this game. He caught a touchdown pass. Yeah. Uh, it was like a five-yard, not sure if it was a hook or a drag, but that's not important. It was the, the, he made two or three guys miss. Right. And he scored the touchdown with a yak. And then on the very next play on the convert attempt, uh, Avery threw him like an out route, mm-hmm. and it looked like like he was not in position that to make the close. catch. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know what he did with his body, and I can't even explain it, but he made this sick catch, yeah. and like he just stopped. <laughs> and like, like, as if like, he was playing a video game. Yeah. And he, and like, just, just stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was like, wow. Like, that was, Body like, movement. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. He, and in Brossard, too, he had a heck of a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, that's, I told him, like, yo, you killed it this weekend. Like, well, yeah, yeah Brossard, he had a heck of a weekend. But, yeah. Heck of a weekend in Brossard. And not, like, just looking at his stats, but, like, he also made some nice catches. He may be, like, one of the best unassuming players. Unassuming you know what I mean? Like, an unassuming, it's like, maybe he doesn't get the love he deserves. You kind of look at him, okay, like... I feel like you look up Yeah, more. I don't know, but, like, when, when, like, you look at the red catch, like, like we look at, like, guys you're going to game plan for. Maybe it's more, like, you know, Sydney or stopping Avery the run or Victor, yeah. you know what I mean? But, no, Ben but is I mean, just straight up nothing, there. He had the most catches and the most yards in this game, right? I'm uh, not surprised. TD and a convert. Cats, yeah. Uh, Jean-Paul Vigneault making his debut with the Red Cats. Nice. He joined this team. Uh, oh, full-time? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big addition. He's not making a debut as a sub? Yeah. Like, I thought he was just subbing. Yeah, he got two catches for seven yards. I wonder if Avery heard it. Uh... Oh, wow. In uh, the Villains game? Yeah. But didn't, did he get a, a convert? I thought there was a pic of him getting a nice catch, wasn't there? Remember we saw a picture of him getting a really nice catch? Maybe it was in the field of play? Yeah, but for seven yards. I guess it's possible. 
But in either way, that's a big addition to this D3 team. Yeah. Wait a minute. Why is it with Average Joes? They're in D2. That's what you hear sometimes. <laughs> you can't use my own mind. <laughs> okay, I know. Good call. Uh, yeah, our offense uh, and myself specifically struggled uh, yeah. in this game. Uh, yeah. Well, a lot of new faces. This was like our fourth game of the season. It was like a couple of new guys that like... True. Uh, like you weren't there and yeah. I had thrown to the Thompson O'Reilly brothers, both yeah. Sam and Jeremy, a couple of games before. But there was a bunch of new guys who are complete ballers on this team. Yeah. Like literally we got CeeDee Lamb, Trevon Bays. Yeah, for uh, reals. <laughs> Jalen Waddle. Uh, uh, but like obviously it's going to take a bit more time to build that chemistry. Like first time throwing to all these guys and like they have like their, their hand signals. and Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The hook. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't tell everybody now. Wait, but why did you say people are... I said hand signals. They don't know what it is now. Yeah, you literally said what it was. I ended the last 30 seconds. Yeah, no, no, okay. Yeah. Bricks, no, you can't. Bricks can get mad at you, right? <laughs> Like, you literally told them what... Oh, but we have two calls for that play. Like, it's the only play? Yeah, <laughs> Come on. I know what it's I'm doing. It's the only play that got two calls. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Um, next Red Cats game. I guess we did all, th- all three games. Yeah. I believe I was the only one to pick Red Cats in this game. Both quarterbacks throwing three touchdowns and four picks. Um, Jose Luis Castro getting two touchdowns in this game. I saw one. It was a really nice catch. The difference was, you know, Avery ran for 38 yards, so you total that. He uh, threw four picks of four different uh, defenders. Both Ben's got a pick, Victor got a pick, pick six, and Avery got a pick. Wow. Shout out to Ali getting two picks. Yeah. Leaving a pick as well. What do you, like, yeah. So, well, like, after a game like this, what are your thoughts? Well, I think Red Cats just, like, showed Division Three that they're for real. Mm-hmm. Going 2-0 against... Villains and Pocket Rockets, right? Mm. Uh, my thoughts are Pocket Rockets, what's going on? Yeah. Currently seeing a 1-2. and two, mm-hmm. uh, And their victory was an overtime win against Kevin's Phoenix, who they needed to score with two plays, I think, mm-hmm. to tie the game. Yeah. Because right now, they're on the, it's very early. Obviously, they're on the outside looking in. They've only played three games. Um, they got a rematch this week against Red Cats. That'll be a fun one. And in Division Three, I'd like to remind everyone that only four teams make the playoffs out of seven. It's a little four rough. Seven. Yeah. yeah, that is tough. If you're wondering why, well, it's a little difficult to do a five-team playoff. Yeah. And if we're yeah. going to make six teams out of seven teams make the playoffs, might I just give give like a trophy to everyone at that point? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Good stuff. And so four percent. Like I think it look as long as over fifty percent make it, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And the fun of the game we played in. Uh, Villains Phoenix. There's only one highlight that stuck to me is when uh, Kevin picked me off for one. <laughs> that was I, actually sick. That was crazy. That was really nice. I don't get anything about his max after that. Well, he actually for took real. himself off after the game, right? But Rob won quarterback, right? That's true. It's, it's funny because I was running a post and I saw him pick it off. And I was like, hey, like he's gonna get tackled. He's gonna get tackled. He's gonna get tackled. I was like, my guy's not gonna get. And then boom, <laughs> that was a net. And he read that play like a book. Yeah. Like he really read that play. But I want to see like, how, like I, I felt Kevin had a decent game at quarterback too. Like he had a he had a smart game. It was, it was slow a, start. Yeah. But right. then he was able to move the ball. There was a, f- a few throws he wanted back, but don't forget that, like, the thing is... They are missing Alec and Jerome. Well, that's the thing is, remember the one time when they got Jerome and Jerome never played for them? Like, they, they need a guy like Jerome. They need a guy like... Jeremy. Like, Jeremy. Like, Jeremy's going to have to play on this team full-time if they're going to be competitive. For me, it's that simple. Yeah. And it makes this team that much more dangerous. Yeah, so I don't know if, like, Jeremy told Kevin at the beginning of the season he's only going to play when he wants to play and stuff like that, but, like... Okay. He was there all day, and then he didn't play that last game. Like, mm-hmm. He didn't have to drive, maybe, if you wanted load management or something. Like, Hopefully, he gets to five games to be playoff eligible. That's the key. Can you make the playoffs? Hey, you never know. Crazy things have happened. Small Valley Kid put some nice moves on you, eh? Oh, did he ever. Man, he's tough to tackle. Gosh darn it. Our Simo. boy Rob White with uh, two touchdowns. He was also catching a bunch of posts up the middle. That's true. Like, wide open. That is true. He, he had a very, very nice throw that he threw... Side arm, I believe, to another nice catch by Simal Valiket for two point conversion. Yes. Yeah, yeah Valiket moving that, uh, moving like he's doing um, limbo. Yeah, our boy Trevon Diggs got two picks in this game, a pick six. That was big. Play of the game was the pick six. You got play, play, play of the, of the week? week? Yeah. Thanks. I am your rupier. <laughs> Alrighty, do you know? What did you do? Five. Kept the longest for last. There you go. Division one, did you ref Iron Wolf Centurions? Uh, yes, I did. I heard uh, we had a wild Mario on the loose. Oh my god! <laughs> like it's it's not fair. Like I'm trying to think of a comparison and like. But you know what's fun is that you would think as a wide receiver it's not fun playing in that offense, but it actually is. 
I mean, he because, still did 25 passes, right? Right, right. What I'm saying is, let's see, let's see, he runs 12 times for 130 yards or whatever it is. Like, well, you're it was 13 times for 150 yards and two tutties. Wow, I didn't realize you were 50. But it's still fun because a we get to see it live, <laughs> and like b like I think it really adds like a new dimension to this offense because like he's not running because he can't throw. You know what no, I mean? He's exactly, running because yeah. he's the lane such is a there. runner. Yeah, and- right, exactly. And I think it really makes us tough to defend. He put up 45 points. He had a heck of a last two weeks. Yeah. And look, like... Was there a turning point of this game? Or you just feel like the, the Wolves yeah, had it the no, whole time? Yeah, I believe it was the interception. I just want to see where it was. Because like, it was a back-and-forth game, right? Like, it was going score for score. Oh, yeah, Iggy's interception. Oh, wow. Uh, nice. Iggy really read that well. But Gab Archambault did have a lot of pressure in his face. Um, uh, who'd you rush right Who in? rushed? Isaiah Remy was there. Remy, was Remy, 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 yeah. Oh, who could it be? Huh. Probably Chris or Demario. Oh, Chris was there. It's <laughs> true. Oh my God. Shout out to Chris for subbing. Uh, before I heard you don't want him to sub. Well, no, because I thought we were going to forfeit because I thought Rick Smee was going to show up. I think Chris is mad. You should talk to him. Yeah. When was the last time you spoke to him? Two weeks, three weeks. You should follow up with him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, There's Chris. a reason he didn't pass by you to sub him. There was a reason what? The reason what? I prefer when you guys are friends. Yeah, me too. Jesus buddy needs a Jesus buddy. Bro, preach. Chris, it was because I thought we were going to forfeit. I didn't notice Chris is a lot nicer with me since he doesn't talk to you anymore. So. Really, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's probably just a one way street. He, he had these uh, like sandals or um, slides. Yeah. They're like super comfortable. He said it's good for like rehab and stuff. Really? I forgot to write to him to ask him for the link. So, Chris, I know you're watching. Send me the link. Good stuff. Uh, Thanks for something, Chris, for real. I, like I said. Don't pretend to be all nice now. Well, no, I, I, I didn't want him to stop because I thought we were going to forfeit. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Iggy read that well. Gavar had the pressure in his face. He, you know, it was that kind of that situation that it looked like he was throwing it away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you just had to take a sack at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. Unless it's fourth down, obviously, then it's fine to throw it away. Mm-hmm. But it, pretty sure it was not. It was. It was second down. Avery three touchdowns in this game, and he is the leader in touchdowns in Division One. Are you surprised? Nope, I'm not either. But what's crazy is that like. We were doing this Iron Wolves team and like we didn't even know who we were going to ask and like for a guy that we decided to ask and weren't sure and who's first time playing in this offense, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And think about it, considering how often like DeMario runs that we have a receiver on the team with the most touchdowns. I mean, he still scores a lot of touchdowns. Like, yeah. He had five touchdowns and no picks this game. Yeah. I also have the other D1 game. Jagerbaum, 18. Not close, eh? Uh, it was actually uh, Yagram were actually hanging in there. It was they were leading at halftime, eighteen to sixteen. Really? They had scored one extra touchdown. Wow! Uh, and it was a two point game. Then eighteen got the ball to start the second half, but it showed yeah, uh, Yagram were seven with a sub. The rusher unfortunately went down with an injury. I think he broke his nose. Oh shoot! Okay. Um, yeah, it was very unfortunate. Like he wanted to get the sack as he was throwing. Um, kind of like the Dobbs play, but he got yeah, the nose yeah. on the forehead. Shoot! Uh, so that brought him down to six. Like, it, it was like pissing blood. Poor guy. Uh, but he's tough. Good stuff. He Good stuff. stuff. And, yeah, and he was actually calling okay. the defense. Wow. Okay, and okay. Snow wasn't playing on defense, and they're missing GF the lows. Oof. So, in addition to missing, uh, also, you mentioned Fool. Yeah. And Kamba. Yeah. And Kevin. Yeah. And Loic. <laughs> so, oh, they nice. were severely shorthanded. Yeah. And they're still leading at halftime with just six players. Yeah. And Smo actually, I, I believe, was calling the defense at that point. Uh, but then it was just a bit too much for them to handle. I think eighteen were nine or ten players. Yeah, they're a big roster. Yeah, and they're missing Dylan. Yeah. Holy uh, cow! Cobalt down in this game. He got two touchdowns for uh, Jagerbaum. Nice. Uh, great ball distribution by uh, Dave. On the other hand. Yeah, really. Look at the yards: 53, 45, 37, 33, 25, 16. It's impressive. He also ran one in for two points. <laughs> He's so good at that. I don't understand. He's really good at that. Good stuff, Dave. And James Cooley is a, like a baller. Yeah. Because we, obviously, first year in MFL, and it makes this team that much more dangerous in this division and D2 with nice yeah. CDs. Yeah, he's putting up numbers. It's in Shallow de Vivash, almost like really underrated. Yeah. Well, he, he I don't really think he's is. underrated because his rating is actually really high. Like, he has yeah. like a 90-something rating there. But, like, I don't think we talk about him enough if people don't know who he is. He got two sacks in this game and a pick six. But that's the thing, he's a defender that can play anywhere, yeah. which is like very impressive. Short, flat, rusher, tall guy too, tough to throw against. If you look at Division 1 now, the standings, 
Got A Team, Outlaws, Wolves, Lockdown, Jagger Bombs, Centurions. Is it too soon to say we got three teams battling for the last playoff spot? I don't think it's too soon, no. I, I don't think it's too so soon to say that. So you're saying the Eagles are locked in the playoffs? I mean, look, at three and two, they already have the, we already have the tiebreak against Lockdown. We already have the tiebreak against Centurions. We haven't played Jagger Bomb. Like, nothing safe, but I, I think we're like, we're okay for now. When it's all okay, when it's all said and done, I think Yagerwan probably grabs that four spot. Who's your favorite right now? Do you want to win it all? No, like right, like power rankings. Who's your number one right now? It's A team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it'd be hard to pick against. And I, and I also think they're my favorites. Yeah, I I agree with that. Like Dave has yeah. not missed a step. Like he threw out those five picks in the game, but like yeah, it's so a fun way to win that game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, division five, D five. I think I ref at least one game here. If I told you, uh, Kevin's Phoenix and Sam Jamez Los Politos combined for sixty-seven points. That was the number one that impressed me. What a, you ref that game? No. What what a fun game that must have been to uh, to ref and or played in. Six touchdowns for Kevin. Wow, that's impressive. Like it's it's incredible. It's like I So Sam Jan had a pick six, a rushing touchdown, three passing touchdowns. I think he has a pick six every game. <laughs> it's no honestly, like it's it's uncanny how many interceptions pick sixes he gets. But Vince Blonde has seven catches, sixty two yards, two TDs. Uh Chrissy, six catches, four nine yards, two TDs. Uh, good stuff there. And then um Yeah, and then for, for Los Politos, it was the the rushing and the pick six and Louis Philippe Jean with two touchdowns. In this game, which was big, but shout out to Los Bledos for putting up a like not like there's no more victories, but Phoenix is one of the best teams in this division, and I really think that Los Bledos season, season correct Los Bledos shows that not only like do they belong not necessarily in terms of the top dogs, but like this could be a team that makes the playoffs and maybe surprises people. I can see that happening. Start making the playoffs. True. I wrecked the Bearhood uh, my ball Zachers game. Okay. Um. So our player of the week, Dave Lepin, who balled out in the previous week, scoring, I think, 37 against Mimosa Crew, who's a very good defense. It wasn't Curry, but that doesn't remove from the defense, right? Right, exactly. Uh, so th- it, was a, it was a very low-scoring game. Yeah. Uh, it was 7-6 to six at half. Wow. So wait, first I want to say that my ball attackers won by two possessions. Yeah. Berhood threw two pick sixes in this game. One to the rusher. A huge shout-out. A rusher uh, had a pick six. Yes. Uh, wow Guillaume Malo insane play he also got a sack in that game he got a pick six like it was, he was also quarterback, their quarterback basically because Luca's not quarterback in this season wow uh, that's imp- holy cow that's crazy yeah. and, like when's the last time that happened in the NFL I feel it happens like once a season no I can't remember the last time it happened wow impressive good stuff didn't Jason want to do it in Brossard hopefully that was on as a rusher oh yeah, yeah. that's true eh? that was like eight years ago when he threw Concordia Good stuff, Milo. That's very... Imp- Hopefully it was on film. Was the camera there? Uh, no. Like, during the day? Shoot. Dave St. had four sacks in this game, and, like, he was, like, 50-50 on another four of them. <laughs> really? Yeah. He yeah. currently has 10 sacks in three games. Impressive. Holy cow. Uh, so, yeah. So, look. Both are... Qu- like, I, I was surprised when they made the quarterback switch. I believe Dave St. Jean took himself out. He said he didn't want to throw anymore. Okay. Because they were struggling, but like he has a he has a nice ball, and like I'm watching him warm up, and he throws like a tight spiral, mm-hmm. and he's played the game long enough, and he's very mobile. But when Saint Jean plays quarterback, yes, sorry, when 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 Saint Jean plays receiver, Simon can't quarterback. Exactly. Okay, so who was quarterback in this one? Uh, Dave Lepin took over. Oh, got you. You said okay. Got you. Got yeah. you. Okay. Um. Yeah, and I felt he took himself too early because they were still fairly in the game. And then, so he went turnover on downs. 7 of 18, 52 yards. So, yeah, they went double quarterback play. It was a nice cute trick play. Dave Lippin throws a touchdown. Then Dave Sejan comes back in. He throws an interception. And then he throws another interception. After back-to-back interceptions, Dave Lippin comes in at some point. And that's when he threw the pick six to the rusher. Like mm. His first drive was a pick six to the rusher. Wow. And then he kept him in. He scored a touchdown on the next drive. 
He actually looked like a more uh, natural passer, like the way he was throwing the ball. Yeah. But I just think that with Dave's athleticism at the quarterback position, like, it's OP. Like, have, like a guy like Dave play quarterback. Yeah. And it's really just decision-making. And you have a veteran like Small Valley Kip on this team yeah. to guide and mentor him, right? Like, That's true. So many plays that I was seeing, like, three guys deep. And yeah. this team has ballers, like Ben Fulbar, uh, yeah, yeah. Steve, that new guy. Uh, right. That you said looks like Tor or Thor? Thor, yeah, yeah. 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 And, like, you just got to simplify it. Like, mm -hmm. all hooks. Yeah. Triple slants. Yeah. Drags. Yeah, for real. Like, it's crazy how uncomplicated it needs to be for it to work. Yeah. And I, Simo knows that. Yeah, it's true. Like, it's, like big play is a sexier one, but it doesn't always work. Yeah. So, big win by my ball, Zach Ertz in this nice. one. I think for Dave, too. Like, if, if Dave, if you want to, like, full-time QB, you're going to have these games. Like, the only way to continue to progress is to, to make mistakes and to just to play more. It's like anything. Yeah. It's not an easy quarterback. It's not definitely not an easy position to play. I didn't see any of this game. Yeah. Uh, but I heard they won. Jungle Squad against Jungle Club. Man, that's the Jungle second Club one of the season, were eh? missing. Isn't it the third? Jungle Squad? Jungle Squad are 3-0, bro. 3-1. Wow. 75% win percentage. Holy cow. So, Drama Club, who are struggling in D5, were yeah. missing Nico as quarterback. Okay. They got Yannick to sub, who arguably is an upgrade. Manzel. Yes, based on experience. Wait, he is an upgrade to Nico, because Nico is quarterback. Okay. Yeah. So you'd think that they'd put up more than six points this game. Wow. But Jungle Squad said, no, no, no. <sighs> not in my house. Not in my jungle. Also, do you know how many of us picked Jungle Squad to win this game? Zero. No. One? Yes. You know who that was? You? Yes. Come on. I was the only one to pick Jungle Squad to win this game. So after the game, when I found out they won, I went to see them and I personally thanked every single one of them. And I said, you guys got my back. Damn. <laughs> and I said, even though I didn't see any of your game, I'll shut you guys out on the podcast. That's some Lone Wolf stuff. Yeah, Lone Wolf. Damn. I Lone Wolf. It. And uh, yeah, there's something about this team. Wow. That's like impressive. the improvement on this team yeah. in nearly one season. Yeah. And willingness to learn too. Like yes, willingness yes, yes. to adapt and understand the game of flight football. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I know they're gonna be a little short-handed next week. They're looking for subs, and they're playing Bennett. That's yeah. not a great sign. Well, they're at three and one. They should be okay. Uh, Legendary Mimosa Group Game of the Week Division Five thirty three wow. thirty two. Talk about balling from both quarterbacks. Talk about Benjamins in this game, eh? For real, <laughs> for real. Ben Milet, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. Current five touchdowns, one. T uh, one pick in this one. Nick Eagley, five catches, 106 Holy yards, three shit. TDs. That's too good to play division. And like you talked about, Ben Denny, eight catches, 94 yards, two touchdowns, and a two-point conversion. And he got a pick on defense. And a pick. And that two-point conversion was what gave them the victory. They won by one. I, I want to know what Ben had for breakfast that morning. Probably Wheaties. I don't but think so. The NFL uh, Wheaties. I, I don't think he had Wheaties. I, he doesn't strike it. me as a, as a guy that would eat Wheaties. He honestly tastes me like a guy that eats oatmeal. Yeah. But like... With maple. I was just going to say plain. No, and, no. And a black coffee. No, 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 no. Maybe, yeah, black coffee. He really coffee. seems like a simple guy in terms of stuff like that. But However, de 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 decaf coffee. Nah, not that. However. No, remember the first when he came in, we met with him? He had a coffee and he said it was decaf. Really? I don't remember the made it up. But he's a very, very good cook. And let me tell you, with cooking, he, he's not bland, that's for sure. So he will not eat plain oatmeal. No, but to compensate for all his other food. But uh, speaking of the Benz. Did you notice that the legendary shirts... Well, first of all, they're, they're fucking sick. Yeah. But did you notice both Ben's have Benjamin written on their back? Really? And not like Benjamin and Benjamin D. Like, like Benjamin. I, yeah, just both of them have Benjamin. They did they trade like every half or? No. That'd be pretty cool. Big one by Legendaries. These, 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 could, these could and should be the two top two of the top teams in the division. I don't think so. You, don't think when so. you say two of the top, you mean like top 10 out of 19? or you No, mean like top, top five. Top five? Let's yeah. look at the standings and we'll okay. find okay. out. I got you on that. Well, yeah. one is 10, one's, <laughs> one's 12. However, they're basically a game behind. We just take Phoenix over both of them. Yes. We just take Blue Badge over them. Yes. Are Blue Badges too strong for Division 5? No. We take Big Booties over them. No. Jungle Squad. No. Last Calls? Yes. TD Hunters? No. My Ball Zackers? No. Uh, Tropic Thunder? No. Bear Hood? Yeah. Grizzlies? Oh, shit. So they're not in your top five. It's true. I forgot about Grizzlies, too. And maybe six, seven. <laughs> Don't forget what's cool about uh, Division 5 this year is that we have 11 teams in the playoffs. 11? Yes. How in God's, name, God's green earth is that going to work? Very, very simple. Seven get a bye. Seven? Well, a bye. It's, think about it like... Uh, There's a play-in. 
Yeah. Okay, okay, we got but you, got you. You can Seven see both ways. Hiding well, hiding bikes to no, uh, like, random people no, on the street. Like, in the NBA, you could see. It's a play. You can see it's as if, like, the top six get a buy, yeah, right? Okay, it's a play. Yeah, I get you. Get it. It's a play in between eight and ten. But it's not technically a play because in the NBA, it's like actually like one, it's one game or it's best about a three? What is it? No, one. It's one game. Yeah. Whereas the rest of the series, right, in the NFL, every game's a one game thing. Yeah, so it's yeah, not trust, technically trust. a play in. Play so. sounds better, trust. Okay. So, so eight, 11, nine, and 10? 8, 11, 9, and 10, exactly. Got you. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So, like, I mean, I definitely think both these are going to be playoff teams. Oh, for reals. For reals, for reals. And I think they're going to fight for that buy. I find it cooler thing about it. Like, yeah, okay. In this situation, that makes sense. Because like in Division 5, there's going to be four rounds of playoffs. It's going to be the first time ever there's going to be four rounds of playoffs in the NFL. Wow. So if you get that buy, you're going to get you're playing these three games instead of four. That's crazy. So it's going to be two and two? Yes. Okay, makes sense. Because I can see it just being four same day. Like That's NFL type stuff. <laughs> yeah. Reserve a day for Division 5 playoffs <laughs> only. For real. Damn. I was happy with Tropic Thunder's win. Again, three agent squad one. 40 to 20 in this one. Eduardo looking good. Four touchdowns, two picks. But it was the um, just the defense of Tropic Thunder getting it done. Three picks for Louis Vuitton. Uh, Britain. Uh, three picks. For and, Louis. For Louis. Louis. And, and four uh, sacks for Mark. Mark's quick. And one for Eric. Boy, Eric Kange. Yeah, guys. Sack cool. and a pick. Respect. Good stuff. That's, uh, that's good because... This team is also good. Like, like that. That's what I was saying about like the four and five. Like, I really feel like it's hard to predict. Okay. Yeah, you could say, <laughs> "Wow, good analysis, William." Or that's so true, William. Did they ever call you William? No, never. Only my parents. <laughs> um, TD Hunters pulled off the victory against Binet, nineteen to twelve. Back on the win, uh, winning streak activated. Yep. That's Justin White uh, seems like a baller. So I've never actually seen him play, but. Yes, well, he's on he's on my um, Jack Rabbit team. Yeah. Shout out to Sharmika and Justin who give me lifts to bra start every Sunday. Justin White's a baller. Yeah, he's he's like how would it is like he's a guy that high points the ball. He's quick. Give me an NFL comparison. Mike Evans. Really? Yeah. Mister Thousand Yard Guy. I say Mike Evans. Is Evans hitting a thousand yards again this year? No, but Baker seems to like him. For reals. but you know who's gonna hit two thousand? But yeah, but like wow, well, I'm I, I'm freaking happy for Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I thought yeah, you I'm, no, like, I'm uh, happy for Baker Mayfield. Why? I know, I don't know what it is. I was speaking with, another, with a friend uh, this week too. I'm really and happy for Baker. Too, because he, he feels like the Browns did him wrong a little bit. I mean, like, did he have, like, he had a chance, but it's like, but for example, like, yeah, right now the Jets. Chance. But, like, he didn't really, like, he was, he's kind of cut short leash. Like, the. the he's back in the playoffs, he won them a playoff game. Well, that's what I mean, and then, like. But I thought you tend to hate. I know, it's something about Baker. Arrogance. I know, I know, like, you're right. Like you hated him in college, but I think yeah, but I think that since coming to the NFL, he's matured a little. Not really. Uh, not really. But he's, he's not doing the like in the middle of the field, right? I guess you can't do that in the NFL. But it's rare that your opinion changes on people. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I don't even know if I like him, but I'm happy for him. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but all that to say, maybe it's just the, the the more success he's having, the more it shows that something about Brady, and that's why you're happy. No, no, no. I don't think it's about Brady. Mark has Brady. <laughs> Talking about Brady, Tom Brady, and uh, Boy Brady O'Hare, Yeah, obviously. Uh, but, um, yeah, Mike Evans looking good. And that team be looking good. But I'd say Mike Evans would be a good comparison. Okay, so it's just Noy Day? It's Mike Evans. Yeah. Yeah. But this, this is an upset, right? Like, which one? TD Hunters beating Ben? Well. Sorry, beating Binette? Binette are winless. That's true. <clears throat> wow, that is true. But they play against like three good teams. Blue their, Badgers, their Phoenix. Their schedule was yeah. the, like Blue Badgers and Phoenix are arguably the top two teams in the division, right? Right. Like that could be your finals. Yeah, that's true. But then you know, obviously, uh, Blue Badgers won the game, so there wouldn't be a point of playing that finals. True. Uh, yeah, their schedule gets a little bit lighter now. Playing Jungle Squad, low expectations, Drama Club. Mm-hmm. I could easily see them going three and three, uh, like three straight wins and being three and three. True. 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 I was impressed with the Big Booties win this week. Oh, yeah. Rob came up to me and he's like, literally, none of you have picked us. Y- yeah, like I'm... And I said that... I don't remember why. But he's like, but that's okay. I think that's why I played so well. Cause extra motivation. <laughs> I'm like, that's Will's line. Yeah, it worked. That's Will's excuse. It's not Rob. Happy work for Rob. Wow, Kayla, three touchdowns. I'm telling you, she be balling. 
Maybe I should throw the ball more. Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, what else in this game? That was 40 yards. Max Baldell, two picks in this game. Yeah. Seven catches. Touchdown. Jorge with a pick and, and the sack and four tackles. Mm-hmm. Wow. All over the place. Andrew getting two sacks for low expectations. Goldrick subbed in this game, and he played very poorly based yeah. on the stats. That's surprising. And then he dominated with TD Hunters. Yeah, he's probably saving it. I don't oh. know which one was first, but... You th- oh, he's not that type of guy. No, no, he's not a good guy. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question based on the standings. This is a team that's really intriguing me. Are Lelas Calls a championship contender? If yeah. so, yes. If no, yet yeah. Why? So if yes, why? And if no, why? So why either way? Are they a championship contender yeah. and why? Yeah. I think they are. Yeah. Look, this probably won't work in Division Four and up, but in Division Five, when you have a a really good player, yeah, yeah, it really I stands out. The same thing too. It really, really stands out, and it's hard to stop. Obviously, in Division Four and, and as when you go up divisions, it's teams could easily game pal and ball distribution is all that more important. Mm-hmm. I do strongly recommend that Guillaume starts using other players. Yeah. Not because I think Sebastian will get shut down or have a poor game, but just because that Sebastian weapon will be that much stronger. More valuable, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like if he's able to go across the field and throw anyone, yeah. And then just throw it to Sebastian, like I I feel it'll be even stronger, right? Yeah, that's fair. Um, Look, he has 547 yards. His boy, Sebastian, caught 362. <laughs> he wow. has 22 of his 47 completions on the season. The next man in line is Francois with four recept- uh, seven receptions. Uh, sorry, nine receptions. Yeah, six of his 11 touchdowns. Yeah, and like, of course, Sebastian's an absolute baller. He also has three interceptions. Guillaume's a good quarterback, and I'm looking at the defensive he's, stats now. He's he has six a, picks. He's also an all-star defender. He has six picks in three games. Yeah. On pace for 20 and interceptions. Has seven, uh, three picks in three games. So That's, like, yeah. Th- this team is definitely like top, top heavy. They are. They are. And I think like you said, because it's Division 5, you could potentially get away with that. I think as long as their games are not at 9 o'clock in the morning because they're... Are they bartenders? Well, they're somewhere at the last call, right? So if they play early in the morning, it might be a little tougher for them, right? Uh, is that their name? Yeah. Is, is that why it is? I have no idea. Oh, okay, okay. That'd be cool. I'm just uh, assuming... It's even the uh, Dolphins colors too. I like that. Not only that, but you notice that like the, the clock That's says so it's so cool. Two, two fourteen. Fifth, fourteen. Do you know how to read a clock? You know how to read the oh, time no, on a yeah. clock. No. You're one of those people that can only read when you see like no, the thing on the phone. You don't know how to watch words. No, point today, I wasn't looking at. It. It's like two forty nine. <laughs> Got in my way, bro. Uh, that's it. That's it for the D D five. That's it for all the dips. I think we did all the dips. I think we did too. Yeah. It's just funny. Uh, and JF said, uh, JF from um, Spartans this week yes. spoke to him. He said, You have to talk about Boston right now. I said, I, I kind of giggled and said, I will, but they have their own podcast. Yeah. Why did you want us to talk about it? Because I'm, oh, I'm playing. He's like, Now that you're finally playing in Boston, you're going to talk about it. You were playing it, we weren't talking about it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. Remember? Yeah, that's, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that actually is really true. We were playing in Brasso, we still didn't want to talk about it. That's pretty bananas. Yeah. That's pretty bananas, bro. Um, quickly now, let's go Let's go through. Uh, we can do both predictions. We'll do one each, but however, let's go through one game we're looking forward to in each div. Okay. In That's, each div? Yeah. You really don't want your McDonald's, eh? Let's, try, let's just go, do it quickly. Okay, I, I'll go first with D1, okay? Division 1, we got Jagerbomb uh, and Lockdown, Centurions, A Team. I gotta go Centurion's A team here. Question for me: I want to see um, how Archambault is or isn't able to move the ball throughout this defense because this A team defense is the best in the division, and Archambault's the bread and butter is like that kind of the digs and the short routes. But A team doesn't give up any free yards. You know, it's a, it's like yeah. you, the five six yards what you think is free, but A team doesn't give that. So I want to see how he's gonna be able to compete against that defense. The finals a rematch of the A team championship. True, true. Right? That's my one in division yeah. one. I'm not just picking this game to pick the other one, but I was literally gonna pick Yagram lockdown because uh, lockdown has only played two actual games. Yeah, they lost by one possession against A team, and then they lost to Iron Wolves. Uh, they have that forfeit win. Good stuff. I want to see them bounce back. Yeah. 
I actually meant we do one each, like one. You said combined. one each. Did I? Yes. Usually you're better at reading my mind. Okay, div two. Well, let's do one total. Why do you get to pick them? What? Why do you get to no, pick them? No, I was going to do one. You were going to do two. I was going to do, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, take one. I'm selfish. Uh, let's go easy. Well, one of the nice CDs games. See, I like Hollow Whack. Oh, that's true. You know what? I'm going to flip that on you. I'm going to go Pocket Rockets KOB. Pocket Rockets. So we're doing one each. What? Well, I mean, you, you, yours was a bonus. I'm going to Pocket Rockets. You said you do D1, I do D2. No, but you already took my D1. So now I'm going to do D2. You're going to do 3, I do D4, I do D5. So I'm going to say Pocket Rockets KOB. This is a borderline must win for Pocket Rockets. But hey, this is two quarterbacks like to throw that baby deep. I want to see how both QBs fare in this game. Could be a high scoring one. Could be a very well 40 39 type game. How many picks? Three. All by the quarterback? No, two by PO, one by a plug. Division three, pick the game. Div three, I'm gonna go. Oh, this is an easy one. Phoenix double dippers. Okay. Why? Are you tell me? I probably would not have picked that game. Well, you picked it today. There's a lot of good stuff in this one. I mean, look, double dippers are undefeated. Yeah. Phoenix are probably like in a. They gotta win this game or else they drop a one and five. That's your analysis. Yep. Okay. D four. You don't add anything. I, it'd be cool if Rudy plays in this one. He played against a few of his boys. His boys. Well, he's played against Manu before. He's played with Manu. Okay. Yeah. Div four. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna go high on audibles. I know you know why the pimps. That is a good one. That is a very good one. That could be very well be the game of the week. I got a good one too, but it's not that one. Can, I, can I say it? You're allowed. Uh, secure top shooters. You want to talk about you guys? Yeah. You played Airborne last week. We didn't really have a quarterback. You're playing a really good team this week. Win this week, and then we'll talk about you. If Fair. You feel like it? That'd be. <laughs> if you feel like it too. And if you pick up all your stuff after. Uh, oh yes. Gotta pick up your stuff. Pick up your garbage, folks. That's a good one. D five. D five. You go, but I'm gonna I'm gonna steal one because you. Okay. I'm... Wait, wait, don't say it. What are you gonna say? You gonna say the team, the, the matchup you wanted to pick? Yeah, I'm three was eight. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. Let me look. You came up with a really quick one. Yeah. How many games are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God. We had that many time slots. <laughs> Bro, is this the NFL? Was the freaking thirty-two teams? Okay, ready? I think we're going to see the game. One. Two. Three. Last Legendary last Legendary last oh my god. That were good, bro. How'd you know that? I, I didn't think... I wasn't looking at the game that you were going to choose. I was. I, I could have done that and tried to put myself in your shoes. But I was literally looking at the game that I thought would be the most exciting. Same, same. And Legendary just put up a bunch of points. The last cost could easily put up a bunch of points. I see both teams scoring 30 in this game. I, whatever you said, I said. Okay. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna top that. Full predictions. Full predictions. Just do one each. Okay. We're not gonna do a division. We get what? Oh, it's so. I, I'm actually a little worried for this weekend. Yeah. I won't be there. That's true. Kevin's gonna be in charge. You will. Okay, so would a bold prediction be that no one dies? <laughs> but that, that's... Glad you brought it up. Um, I will not be there either. We're having a... Uh, what did you do? We're having a little... Uh, bringing Terry to Miami. Bachelor party. Leaving on the Friday. Coming back the Sunday. Although, uh, Mas Boot and Terry come back on the Monday. Unfortunately, I can't take off eight days off work because Terry, his own boss, was able to do that. But Terry's bachelor party. We're going to keep everything PG-13. We're going to see the Dolphins game. Against the Denver Broncos. Sorry, that's my favorite part of it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, I think you didn't, didn't like that one, eh? Uh, but yes, it's good. we're going to see that. And we're going to have a good time in Miami. Yes, shout out to my boy getting married soon. But we're going to have a great time. Terry's Botcher. So we will not be there. We're going to be in Miami. But we will be checking the scores. Please behave. Yes, we will be checking the scores. Like, watch watch out for Kevin. Yeah. But Kevin has to be the one watching over them. Yeah. Shit. Put Nick in charge. <laughs> for real. Okay, let's go with the yeah. white bull versions. I thought about hiring like uh, my wedding planner to go out the field and like supervise. Why don't you hire Max? <laughs> We're for real. <laughs> a bad idea. So you want league wide bowl predictions? League wide. You go first. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. This is a game we just talked about. Okay. You know Ida Pimps? I know it wasn't this one. It's, I want to dissect this match just a little, a little bit. It's going to be quite. Yeah. Yeah, no, but like, I, I mean, I won't give you a specific division. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We got two and one high in audibles. We got Udo Ida Pimps, who are three and one, coming off three straight wins. I think the winner in this game scores 50 plus and the loser scores 40 plus. I think it's going to be an absolute back and forth barn burner of affair. So you're saying both teams go over 40 points? Yes. The winner will score in the 50s. Loser's final score, 50 to 49. Wow. For who? On audibles. Really? Yep. I think they call too many audibles to like, score that many points because like, it takes some time, you know? True, but they, they think they call audibles because they see what's in the defense. Yeah. And they exploit that. Okay, sorry to interrupt, but you were done, so I'm not really interrupting. Look, at, look at this trade in fantasy football. Is that ridiculous? A guy we've never heard of before, literally. Yeah. So, uh, Puka N N Nakua? Yeah. For Stefan Diggs. But Nakua has to be like... We talk about guys that came out of nowhere. Like, literally. The man, like, came out of a cereal box. <laughs> like, we, like, but, but Stafford is, like, annoying. Yeah, yeah. Like, but like, he's like, yeah, yeah. you! Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, throws him, like, 20 balls yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then Cooper Cup. But it's, it's actually incredible. It's like Guillaume and Sebastien. True. True. <laughs> Well said. He has 20 catches in his first two games. The most catches ever in the first two games by a rookie. Yeah. Honestly, you ask me right now who wins the trade. I think Puka. Stop it. What's stop it? What's stop it? Well, my brother's getting 18, 18 targets a game. Right now, I thought you were going to pick Puka and Stefan Diggs versus him. Puka without a doubt in my mind. You're serious? Terry, the guy's getting 18 targets a game. Don't trust Stefan Diggs in one of your leagues? No. I don't touch those players. <laughs> Mason Miller, Bills fan. Terry, no. Mason Miller's a Bills fan? Yes, you knew that, didn't you? No. I wonder why. Well, he's a good baseball player, too. But uh, well, that's a fact. What? It's not apparently. He is a good baseball player. Yeah. Um, yeah, Puka Nakua. For sure. Yeah, I'm like, serious. Yes. Okay, but but, but, right now but are you good? saying your answer based on Cooper Cup coming back? Okay, if I say Cooper Cup decides he wants to be um, Obviously, if Cooper a chef come back. and never play football again. Obviously, if he doesn't come back, Puka Naku gets more value, but I still think I'd prefer Stefan Diggs the rest of the way. Like I, 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 he'll have a great season. Even but, even if, if Diggs isn't, if Cup uh, doesn't come back. For me, if he doesn't come back, it's it's a complete no-brainer. So in your mind, Puka Naku is finishing for sure top 10. Well, he's finishing over Diggs. I don't, I don't trust the Diggs and... That, but the Diggs I, has finished top 10 the last five seasons. No, I know, but something about this Bills team this year, Terry. I don't know what it is. So you're just a Bills hater, basically. Honestly, yes. Okay. But I think that, like, week one, okay. it kind of showed. See, you love Puka Nakua. Puka. Like, legit. Which receivers do you take over? Terry Kill. Yeah. Jefferson. Jefferson. And the, uh, legit, that may be it. Right now, that may be it. Okay, we, I've, ne I've never seen a, an individual come into a game and be... Have you ever seen him play? Like, you've watched any of his games? I actually, yeah, I, I legit, well, I watch and he's, like, pretty good. But you, you know what's crazy is, like... He, he's he's a Cooper Cup like he, he like he actually does the Cooper Cup routes and everything. You'd actually think like of course I'm way too much in the side chain. In terms of fantasy or real life, it translates pretty like no real life. I'm, I, I think Puka's getting a lot of targets, which is you yeah. know fantasy doesn't count that. So you really think like right now? If I told you he's finishing top what by the end of the season, you're gonna say what? Puka? Yeah. Like guaranteed, guaranteed, yeah, guaranteed top ten. Even guaranteed top yes, ten. Yes, it's yes. your doom doom. Oh, doom. Even even with the potential of Cup coming back. Wow. If Cup doesn't come back, I I would not be surprised to finish his top three. But you said it yourself. It, it's Stafford locks in a guy, and that's it. You're finished. Yeah, yeah. It, it's Interesting. more. It's more Stafford than him. Interesting. But no, he, he was making some some catches, and it was against the 49ers here. Don't forget, it's a it's a solid defense. That's Barbara. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you do your bowl prediction? Yes. No. <laughs> We're talking a lot of NFL here, right? It's okay. Nice. Uh, give Who was the CFL? Yeah, was the CFL? Uh, we got a big <laughs> caca football. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, basically. But um, 
Notre Dame, Ohio State this weekend. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Really watch it, I know, eh? I guess I could brush that one off. You can what? I could brush. I could accept not seeing that game. Who's? Uh, what's the the line in that game? Oh, I see why I feel like 14 and a half. You think it's that bad? Uh, no, no. If I had to be honest, the game's in Notre Dame. I think Ohio State's favored by four and a half. Three. Ohio State? Yeah. It's six against nine. Wow. And and game day, game day's in Notre Dame. Say what? Game day. You know game day? Oh, it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's in Notre Dame. Same time as the Georgia game. But Georgia has a pickup game. Cupcake game. You would be by four. <laughs> and does it matter the screen's black or? Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, Georgia's favored by 42. Taking the over. Then taking the... Taking the Georgia. Over, over. <laughs> My bold prediction. Mm. Pick a division for me. <laughs> Why are you one, so you, didn't, you don't have it yet. Okay, <laughs> I kind of think that's cool though. Div one. Why is it cool that No, because you were saying as if like you were sure what your bold prediction <laughs> Div one? Yeah. <laughs> Centurions beat 18. <laughs> no. I'm not the hype train. <laughs> but what, you thinking that'd be too bold? Yeah, way too bold. No, no. <laughs> okay, but Centurions beating 18, just that itself would be too bold. Last week, my, my bold prediction was Centurions beating Iron Wolves, and 18 is better than Iron Wolves, no? But actually, I don't think it'd be too bold. You don't think so? So C- Centurions are the only winless team, and 18 is the only... Undefeated team. I, I, I'm picking 18. Okay. So, so that would be my first bowl prediction, but I'll give it a second one. Okay, I like one. that one. Why did you not like the one last week when I said you're going to beat Arnold's? Bro, they don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean it wasn't bold enough last week? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this week is bold enough. I, I, I still don't find it that bold. Okay, so I'll give you another one. But for you, it's okay. Jagger bomb, lockdown. Yeah. Small Valley Cat. Who? Uh. <laughs> Small to shine. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of Simons because there's small. There is a lot. I was going to say it's double Simon. It's small to shine against small Bleu in this game. Okay, got you, got you. Valiquette's not playing in this game. You get sub. But I think about him often. Yeah, yeah of course. You're like a guy when you're not roughing him. <laughs> um, so, I say both quarterbacks. Yeah, both Simons. Simon yeah. says. Yeah, Simon says. Yeah, what does Simon say? Simon, there's going to be a lot of touchdowns. Yeah. And no interception in this game. Simon says that? Simon says that. <laughs> Pick a number between 0 and 10. 8. Multiply by 2. 16. That's going to be the total amount of touchdowns in this game. And <laughs> 0 interceptions. How do you know what's going to say 1? Because then I would have said... Multiply by... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I would have came up with something. <laughs> 16 total TDs. Make it up bold enough. I was going to go anywhere between like 12 and 20. Okay, that was so- my range. 16 total TDs, zero picks. Yes. For both Simons. They're each going to throw 16 touchdowns? No. <laughs> they have a problem with worth each in total, eh? Uh, they could be rushing touchdowns as well. Yeah. That's what you said each. Yeah. Wow. No, not pick sixes. You said no picks. Yes, yeah, that's more good. <laughs> oh, Terry. Gosh darn it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it's time for good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think the show was good. Folks. Um, yes, thank you for tuning in. It's crazy that we're doing this in, in less than 24 hours. It'll be up. That's crazy. Good editor. <laughs> um, no, for real, I like. I actually really miss coming to the MFL. I feel like I haven't been there forever. I've made yeah, a few been there games. like last two weeks. Just like yeah, really like late. just for an hour. <laughs> and most people only come for an hour anyway. So, but yes, we won't be there this week. Real Terry, really excited for your bachelor. We're gonna make it a great time for you. Jaff has a lot of stuff planned. Uh, that we can say. Monday. Uh, Monday. Uh, that's up to Jaff. Okay. I'm coming home on Sunday. No, but I'm gonna be alive. Like, am I gonna survive? Yeah, you may be missing. Uh, the damn sorry, you may be missing uh, a flaw or two, but you know, you're gonna come back alive. All right, folks, that is it for this episode of MFO Total Access. Let Let's us know what you think about Puka Nakua. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I'm telling you, he, my man, gave me force fed. You know, Zeke's doing that eat, and now he's literally sitting on the couch eating. <laughs> but uh, no, Puka gonna be uh, fed that Tuka. <laughs> uh, I was Zeke too, huh? That makes sense. All right, boys and girls, see, see you guys in later. A couple of weeks. Yes. What? Oh yeah, we can have, we can have. Yeah. Go friends.